you know, I always tell people, it's like, it's about your inner confidence. You know, yeah. I think everybody should. The inner confidence, like when you was begging an old girl and crying on the phone. Triple T G game. We back in this thing. You already know what it is if you do not know who I am. My name is Diamond. I run this channel called True to the Game. You already know why you came today. Today, man, we're going to be reacting to Mr. DJ Wackademics. I know a lot of you guys like my reactions to DJ Wackademics and his crazy antics when it comes to the women. Okay, if y'all did not know who Cheyenne Reynolds is, she is most known or popular for the show called Grilling. So she basically invites these male guests onto her show to try to riz her up, try to sauce her up. We get to see if the dude has game or not. We get to see what the nigga's mouthpiece is like. You know, we get to see what the nigga's game is like. So we're going to go ahead and see what academics, Mr. DJ Academics, Mr. DJ Wackademics, we're going to see if he has any game while talking to Miss Cheyenne Reynolds, okay? So without further ado, make sure that you go cop your merch, man. You will see the link in my description down below. Go cop the merch. True to the game, merch is out. Stop sipping is on the back also if you want my help directly make sure you hit the link in my description down below if you want specific advice on your situation so we situation 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 if you want specific advice on your situation man make sure that you go ahead and hit the link in my description down below book a call with me so we can get you right we can get you on the right path all right <clears throat> look man if you are pimping out a simp like this video comment your thoughts down below make sure you hit the subscribe button select all notifications so you do not miss an upload where i'm I'm getting you closer to being a pimp, less of a simp. Let's get into it. Well, how you doing? Hi. Mm. Nice to meet you. A nice kiss on the hands. There we go. Gentlemen. Why are we still holding the hand? You know he can't let go of these bitches. Guys, <laughs> did you see that? He came in and kissed my hand. That was so uh, cute. Like he literally <laughs> come correct. You ain't getting up for breakfast? No. You're like a breakfast girl type of thing. Because you be ready to feed a bitch, don't you? This nigga be ready to feed a bitch. He just wants the trick on a bitch so bad. Y'all see this? You ain't got no breakfast? Usually. Yeah, I me, mean, I don't eat breakfast. No. I, I do try to do one or two meals a day, but I start off with a nice cup of Hennessy or coffee. Got to get it at like 9 a.m. That's yeah. wild behavior. Yeah, early. That is wild behavior, bro. You heard Drake said, yo. Signs of alcoholic. <laughs> can't drink all day if you don't start in the morning. For breakfast. <laughs> yeah, hi, I'm Shia. Henny for breakfast. I can that makes a big act as they call me. A big act. Come on now. Who calls you big act, bro? Come on now. Big act. Oh, is it? Why do I call you big act? Well, well, they call me big act. Really, I call myself big act. I'm gonna tell you. Oh, then I thank you so much for being honest, because nobody calls you big act, brother. The truth. You know, a lot of people <laughs> don't really know why that moniker came into place, but you know, I always tell people it's like it's about your inner confidence. You know, yeah. I think everybody. Should. The inner confidence, like when you was begging an old girl and crying on the phone. That inner confidence? The inner, inner confidence when she was recording you, laid up on the couch, sad as fuck, and then trying to walk up out the house because you felt embarrassed as hell? Is that the inner confidence that you was talking about? Big, big wackademics? Somebody let me know. What con what inner confidence was he talking about? should be very confident about what they're doing, especially when you work hard at it. So with me, you know, it was a, it was a time that I was doing putting a lot of work in the music industry and I feel like people are just disrespecting so you know at a certain point you gotta you, you gotta stop letting people disrespect you you gotta let people know what it is so <laughs> yeah. big act is just really why a you ain't let old girl know what it was moniker you know what I mean it's not nothing really to do with just ego or just like feeling that I'm bigger than anybody else but to let people know that yo I am who I am <clears throat> you know what I mean and it's, it's not only just unique for me it's unique for everybody like yeah. I like that but I think as I would like the only person that's going to big you up really is you. So it's kind of That's like a fact, though. I want y'all to really understand that. Because a lot of you guys that I speak to have low self-esteem. All right? That's one of the biggest trends that I see when I'm on these coaching calls with you. I see that you just really do not believe in yourself. You don't know who you are. You don't know why you do the things that you do. A lot of it stems from childhood trauma, right? A lot of it stems from you being rejected in some type of way in your childhood or whatever the case is, right? She's right. Nobody is going to big you up. Nobody is going to believe in you like you can believe in you. And even if somebody else believes in you more than you believe in you and you don't believe in you, it's, not, it's only going to take you so far. It's not going to really do anything for you. 
It might give you an external confidence boost, but that external confidence boost coming from external circumstances, places, people, and things is only going to be temporary. The only type of inner confidence that can be sustained is the inner confidence that you give to yourself. Telling yourself, you that nigga. Telling yourself, God damn, nigga. Can't nobody do it like you. Can't nobody sauce her up like you can. Can't nobody put that mouthpiece on her like you can. Can't nobody step in the room like you can. There's nobody who is you. And when you find that confidence within yourself, when you start to cultivate that, when you start to say, look, man. I'm me. And it doesn't matter what type of quirks I have. It doesn't matter what I look like. It doesn't matter if, you know, I got one leg. I got a peg leg. I'm going to love my peg leg. And if the bitch don't love it, I'm going to love me. So I don't give a fuck who loves it or not. I'm going to love me. And as a result, people going to love me anyway, whether they want to fuck with me or not. And even if they don't love me, I love me. So that's what matters. And that's what type of confidence you need. Not when it just comes to women, when it comes to life in general. All right. Like, give yourself that credit so it's like yeah i am i am the shit or whatever hello and this is not coming from a place of narcissism i don't want anybody to think that oh yeah i just got to be narcissistic and i just got to feel like i'm shitting on everybody i'm better than you no it's i'm be- i'm shitting on the old version of myself i'm shitting on the old me i'm shitting on the version of me that i won't say is worse than what i am now but I'm, I've just made progress. I'm going to say that. I've improved. Let me. I'm sorry, guys. Let me shut that off. I've improved. And that's what you want to do every single day. You want to shit on the person you was yesterday. You want to shit on the person you was an hour ago. You just want to shit on you. Continuously shit on you. In a good way. You just want to constantly be better. Because why not? We're already here. We're stuck here. On a spinning fucking rock. <laughs> Why wouldn't you just want to level up and be better? Why do we play video games? Because we want to level up and be better. Do we just want to wander around and be this corny nigga on level one? No, we don't. We want to get to level the end, right? I'm just going to beat you we down. We want to elevate. You know what I mean? So, like, I mean, it's done it to me a lot of times. So, you know, for you to make it in this world, ain't nobody really going to be in your corner. Like, sometimes you got to be the delusional motherfucker who's going to get He's there right. on, your, on your own. So He's right. I, I, I'm, I'm a person who's, you know... I've been drunk on ambition uh, ambition before I ever been drunk off the Hennessy. Yeah. You get what I mean? So uh, I had to believe in myself when everybody else didn't believe. Right? That's when people were that's saying, important. I would tell them my goals and my dreams and they would snicker and be like, it was all good. So Yeah, that's why you shouldn't share your goals and dreams with nobody, bro. Just make that shit happen. Tell yourself you can do it and let them see the result. Like, damn. This nigga didn't even tell me that he was going to do this and do that. But look, he's doing this and doing that. That nigga made his dreams come true type shit. You know, when it's come to pass and everything is working out, you know, when I tell people that I say I, I'm big act, it's because I did it. Yeah. You know, it's just pure self-belief. And it's not only for me, it's for you, too. Because I could tell, you know, from everything I've seen about you, you're a driven in- individual. You know what I mean? Thank you. So, I like Thank that. Thank you very much. Aw. See, like, he's actually, like, a nice, genuine guy. So, tell me a bit about yourself. Uh, Well, me, I, I want to be honest with you, like... On a personal level, I'm a guy consumed at work. So, <clears throat> it, it, like, my personal life happens to involve my work. So I'm one of those driven people who just really believe that fun happens while I'm doing the things I love to do, which some people might consider work. I don't consider work. Yeah. So, you know. Uh, That's the best type of work. You know, early on before I ever got into this. I went to school. I was, I was a, a mathematics, uh, you know, major. <clears throat> I just knew eventually I wasn't going to be the guy working in a lab. So, like, I, I kind of became an entrepreneur. So, really, I always tell people this. The moment I started to do what I wanted to do, mm-hmm. I felt like I'd never worked a day in my oh, life. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So, like, I'm the person who, like, I'm still feeling like I'm on, like, a... It's, I'm floating on a cloud. Yeah. So, in, in reality, you know, I'm a guy who works a lot. And, you know, when it comes to, like, personal relationships, that's probably the thing that's going to either deter you or probably really make you attracted to me. Because I think that's very funny, though, because you say as much work focus that you are, DJ Academics, you still find the time to cry on a bitch phone who didn't even want you, who was using, your, using you for your clout and your resources anyway. You still found time to fuck with a bitch who didn't want to fuck with you. It's crazy. So, let's just put that out there. I'm going to be the guy who's 
hey, if, 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 if there's a goal to be gotten, I'm going to get there. Get there again. But if you're the person who's like, nah, well, really, I just want a guy who I could just waste time with and he's just going to be always available, probably won't be the guy for you. Yeah. You get what I mean? Okay. So, you know. He lying like hell. Didn't he blow the bitch phone up? Didn't he blow the bitch up a thousand times? Didn't she put the nigga on blast for all the missed calls on the phone? Oh, you found time. Mr. Busy DJ Wackademics, you found all the time in the world to, to, to bug this girl. And the girl didn't even want you, fam. Come on, bro. Let's stop capping. Well, I, I've learned that about myself over time. But, Let's um, stop capping. You know, there's, there's a medium where you could be also driven, chasing your goals and your dreams, but also be able to uh, have a healthy relationship with someone else who may be also driven as well. Or... Have we seen DJ Wackademics ever in a healthy relationship? Why are we talking about health in relationships when we just saw your ass get aired out <laughs> in front of the world behind a bitch who didn't want you, fam? Come on, bro. Or at on, least man. maybe trying to add to what you got going on. Yeah. It's like complementing each other and it's yeah, about yeah. balance and then learning to compromise. So can you compromise? About what, though? In a relationship. No. The answer is no. <laughs> the answer is no compromise is not in my language so if you're not fucking with that it's cool you ain't gotta fuck with me cause it is my way or the highway that sounds very very fucked up I know some women are not gonna be down for that and I understand that but the women who are down for that you gonna be down with me baby and I'm gonna make it worth your while you feel me you gonna love it while you here you gonna love it here but no, there is no compromise. But of course, DJ Y Academics is a compromising ass nigga. Let's be honest. Relationship. About what? Like, say you're going out a lot for work, a lot of late yeah. night events, hosting, and whatever you've got a personal appearances. If I was like, I need you just to be home for a little bit more, like, would you compromise that? I mean, uh, you're already rubbing your eye, fam. That's telling me on a subconscious level. And you have to understand, women can pick up on this too. Women are very intuitive because they're very in tune with their emotions. And that's why you can't get away with certain shit. Women are going to see right through you. They're going to see right through you. So you're already wiping your fucking eye. You're already telling her at a subconscious level that that bothers you. The answer is no, but you can't be mad enough to say no. Let's see if he does. Let's see if he grabs his balls and says no. Let's see. For a little bit more, like, would you compromise that? I mean, uh, yeah, no, still, because, like, but like this, when you, you meet no? me, you're going to meet me on the go. Sorry, every relationship, you need compromise. At right. least he said no. Even though he rubbed his eye and he hesitated, at least he still said no. But I will say this. He's saying one thing, but he just got exposed for another thing. He just got exposed for wanting to devote all of his time to a bitch who didn't want him. So we just have to compare and contrast what we saw and what we're hearing and seeing right here. Okay. Now I'm not saying that people cannot change. People can change. And if he has changed and now he wants to be a man about it, he wants to step up to the plate and be a man and he doesn't want to be uh, a welcome mat anymore. He doesn't want to be a woman's doormat. Then I congratulate him and I fully support his new era. But I just don't know. That's something that we just don't know. Right. So if you want me to kind of like tone it down, I'm usually thinking that, you know, and, and this, this is my issue. And Why when we it comes to dating, it's a big thing for me. There's a lot of women out here who are used to bums. I don't want no woman who, who's going to use to what the the bum guy is going to give you. Oh, he's always here for me. He's cuddling with me 24-7. That's not me. Yeah. Oh, yeah, he's... When I want to have movie night with him, he's... No, I got to... I'm But you was cuddled up on the couch crying while a bitch was recording you, fam. What are you talking about? Yeah. Oh, yeah, he's... When I want to have movie night with him, he's... No, I gotta, I'm chasing the bag. I'm chasing... I'm, I'm trying to get to greatness. I'm trying to be a billionaire. You know what I mean? Like, a, a lot of women say they want that life, but they don't really want it. Yeah, I think it comes at a cost, I think, because we all say we want this, we want the nice house, we want the designer bags. Well, I don't, but a lot of women say that. Like and I kind of 
next up. No, I don't. Not yet. <laughs> I wanna, no, place. not yet. I like to look at them, but not yet. I feel no, like I want to. I'm not <laughs> lying. I want to. I want to buy a house, buy a property, and everything first. Then everything the flags come up. Likes to yeah, but I think it comes at a time in your life. I think I'm not senseless in the sense of like I'm not going to just get materialistic things until I've got like bricks and mortar and I've got a home. You know, I think that's what we need to aspire for first before you get the bags. Can I just say, I do not own a single designer handbag. Not one. Damn, that's crazy. And no, I'm not lying. Hey, but that's what's up. I, think, as women, I will say that sets her apart from a lot of women. You know, that's different. You can tell she's not very materialistic. And we forget that if you want this kind of man, that it comes at a cost. And that cost is not having you there, not being present. And I kind of feel sometimes you can lose yourself as a woman because you really want that. And then it's more... Is it the lifestyle you want, mm -hmm. then, essentially the person? Yeah. You know, so I think, is that hard for you when it comes to dating? Do you She's right, though. It's okay to have the lifestyle, but do you like the person? That's what a lot of these niggas don't understand. You're out here seeking more wealth, more jewelry, more cars to try to impress bitches who don't even like you because you don't even like yourself. You heard what she said? Listen. And lose yourself as a woman because you really want that. And then it's more, is it the lifestyle you want than essentially the person? Is it the lifestyle that you want? Or is it the person? And it's so crazy because a lot of these money look status ass niggas. They might be the perfect guy in terms of being the high value man, right? Having the lifestyle that the woman wants. But at the end of the day, that woman is not truly happy because that man doesn't know how to build that emotional connection with that woman. He's trying to build a connection by building his businesses, by building his bank account. And that's not what gets a woman to fall in love with you. That's not what gets a woman pulling on our heartstrings. That is, that, that is something that she can get from any man out here. Yeah, you might have this and you might have that, but there's another guy who has more than you. There will always be another guy who has more than you, but there will never be another you. But if you don't know who you are, then you can't effectively express who you are to the woman. You can't express yourself in a unique way because you don't even understand who you are. So the one thing that you have to your benefit, which is being uniquely you and being expressive to the woman and building the emotional connection with that woman in your own way, you can't even do that because you don't even know who you are. You're steady trying to impress her with all these bells and whistles and trinkets and shit, but that's not what she's actually attracted to. Yeah. You know, so I think, is that hard for you when it comes to dating? Do you find, how do you know if someone's with you for you or you for your lifestyle? Mm. That's just a great question because I only know over time. Okay. I, I go with the motto, if somebody don't fuck with me, it's a problem with them. So, you know what I mean? I think, unfortunately, I had to come Stop. to the UK to try to find a baddie because in, in the US, it's tough. It's slippery. Oh, he's a passport, bro. DJ Wackademics has turned passport, bro, bro. And it's so funny that these passport bros, it's a whole different topic, but it's so funny that these passport bros think that these women overseas are any different from the ones here. They're the same. They're the same. The only other thing, right? The only other thing that might be different about a woman overseas is she might be a little nicer to you to get some citizenship or because she know you have money. <laughs> you have money. You want to share your money with me? But other than that, she's just like a woman here in the States. Just like it. Slim <laughs> pickings out there, man. Slim pickings. You know, I wish I could be like, yo, you know, I got a little crystal ball and I could tell, you know, you got to come to London to really come meet you, right? Mm -hmm. You know, in America, it's like people... Their, their idea of dating is they have skewed like you know metrics usually you can't really tell if someone really likes you for you or they like you for what you're doing or what you're bringing to the table let me just tell you when you're a nigga with game i'm gonna just tell you like this you're gonna know exactly why a woman wants to fuck with you you're gonna know and you're gonna know it has nothing to do with anything external you're gonna know that it's not about your money you're gonna know that it's not about what you can do for the woman, but it's about how you make her feel. That's what any nigga with game knows. 
And that already puts you above all of these other niggas who are in trying to try to trying to impress you by trinkets. And all this extra shit trying to showboat and try to show her how much you have, but you're not showing her who you are. You won't even give her a chance to see who you really are. You're hiding behind all the things that you're putting in front of her or putting in front of you, like your money, like your status, like your car, your clothes, your jewelry, your home. You're trying to put all of these things in front of you because you don't feel like you're good enough as is. Go figure. But that's the thing with dating. Like, you know, you're taking a chance. I'm taking a chance by even sitting here being vulnerable with you. Yeah, for real. All right? Because <laughs> at the end of the day... Vulnerable is crazy. Now I got to have some type of connection with you to move on. But uh, you might be using that to weaponize against me. You yeah. might be using it on this date to size me up. Like, yo, look at the jewelry. Look at what he got going on. Okay, this guy is the guy. Yeah. I'm Y'all really want to be... A high value man like that. And like I said, I'm not trying to say that you can't have nice things. You can't live a great lifestyle. That's great. But if you have no game and you live in that type of lifestyle, women are going to eat you up. They're going to eat you up. And they are going to use you for the resources that they can extract from you. I'm just saying that. And you as an insecure nigga with no game, in the back of your mind, you're always going to be wondering, why is this woman really fucking with me? Is she really fucking with me because she's fucking with me? Or is she fucking with me because what I can do for her and what I have? That is always going to be an insecurity in your mind. So, you got to be very careful. You got to be very careful. When you're a no-game ass nigga, these are the type of problems that you're going to have. You're going to have these type of worries. I'm thinking, yo, she's feeling me. Yeah, but this is the thing, though. I think, like, when you come dressed like that, it's a lot easier for women to <laughs> target you, if that makes sense. Because yeah, it's yeah. like, when you want to come with your chains, come with your nice watch, it's a lot easier for women to be like, oh, he's got money, let me go for him. <laughs> so do you think ever, like, would you ever go out just without the chains, without the watches, without the rings? Of course you won't. Me and my mom have this he question. He needs that to feel like, good. We argue about it. I can't, I don't meet regular women. I don't, I don't meet women who know me in a vacuum without they knowing me as a personality and a celebrity. So how do you date in that vacuum, right? Like, how, how do you date when people already know who you are to some extent? Yeah. So, again, I, I'm playing like the, I'm playing like a catch-up. Yeah. Okay, even if you're, you're doing a good job, like, acting, I'm like, yo, hopefully I could see the telltale signs or, like, the red flags to see if you want me for the wrong reasons. But I'm going to be honest with you. There's been many times I've been with people who I thought wanted me for the right reasons that they one of me for the wrong reasons. Yeah. You know what I mean? I'm telling you, his drip and everything is his personality trait. I get a little bit jaded. His drip is a personality trait. So when I meet women, I'm like, you know, I always look at them, I'm like, yo, my real name is Livingston Allen. I'm like, y'all don't want Livingston. Y'all want academics. Y'all not want Livingston. Big, I, I not get Livingston. it. So it's almost like a, it's a detachment thing. So now, what did he say? You don't want Livingston? You want academics? i jaded. Yeah. So when I meet women, he said he gets jaded because he feels used by these women and he gets done wrong. And that's why niggas go and be a passport, bro. Passport, bro. That's why these niggas go and join the red pill team. You know, this is the reason why they red pill rage and all of this stuff, because they don't have game. They don't understand what it takes. And they don't understand that they can be themselves. I mean, it's just so its just so many things that they don't understand. Let's hear what he say. Rip and everything is his personality trait. I get a little bit jaded. Yeah. So when I meet women, I'm like, you know, I always look at them. I'm like, yo, my real name is Livingston Allen. I'm like, y'all don't want Livingston. Y'all want academics. Y'all want big act. I get So this tells me right here that DJ Wackademics is so funny. Because he truly believes that he's not worth more than the image that he has built for himself. And that's so sad because he really has so much more to offer than what he feels he's worthy of. This dude really said, my name is Livingston Allen. And... I know that people don't want, she don't want to know Livingston. She wants to know DJ Academics, Big Act. Why don't you feel good enough as who you are, which is Livingston, bruh? 
It's a crazy ass name, Livingston Island, you know? But that's your name, bro. Embrace that shit. Embrace who you really are. Stop embracing a fake, false version of you, a facade of you. And that's what a lot of people do. That's what a lot of guys do. They want to put on this facade to try to appear a certain way to be accepted by women. And this is the worst thing that you can do because all a woman wants to see is who you truly are, who you really are. But if you don't know who you are or if you're trying to hide who you are because you don't love yourself enough to feel like you're good enough for that woman showing up as you are, you see how this is an issue. This dude really said that I know people don't want the real me. And that's such a sad play. That's such a sad thing to hear from the guy, man. To say that I just got to be somebody else for them to like me. They don't like who I truly am. That's a wild, wild thing to say. But at the end of the day, he doesn't love who he truly is. He doesn't love Livingston. He loves this fake big act. Act. A-C-T. Get it. So it's almost like a, it's a detachment thing. So now, like, even with uh, Sydney here, I'm wondering if we weren't here, cameras aren't on, I need you just walking down the street. You give me a chance or not? Oh, my God. God. Do y'all see? Do y'all see how he's pedestalizing Cheyenne by even asking that question? If we weren't here, the cameras weren't here, and I was just walking up to you at a store. Would you give me the time or day? You're already putting yourself beneath that woman. You already have her up here and you're way down here. Why should she give you a chance with that type of attitude, with that type of mindset? And I'm talking to you too, watching this video. I'm talking to you. Because there's some DJ academics in you as well. But that's okay because you came to the True to the Game channel so you can get some of that shit up out you. Because we don't need to be living our lives feeling like we're beneath anyone. Whether it be a woman, a man, a Jurassic Park, a, a dinosaur. Not saying that we have to put ourselves above anybody, but you have to hold yourself in high esteem. You got to respect and love yourself. And asking a woman, well, you know, if I just walked up to you, would you give me a chance? You sound like a peasant. You sound like a beggar with one penny in your cup, shaking for change. And what do a lot of, a lot of people do to beggars? They'd be like, uh, peasant, get away. You know what I'm saying? Shoo, shoo, fly. You know what I'm saying? So... You have to know your worth. You have to know your value. He should have never asked a question like this, fam. Look at this. If we weren't here, cameras aren't on, I mean, you just walking down the street. You give me a chance or not? No, do you know what? It's, it's a hard one. I personally, I'd like to say I'd give you a chance, but I know my reality, and I think for a lot of women, the reality is, we get hounded on the street all the time, like at least five times a day when you're stepping out, a man comes over to you. So I do personally give a regu regular men a chance. Do yes, I do. No, I do. I much prefer it because I think when you get... You, give a, you give a regular guy a chance. Yes. Yeah. Stop it. I'm not lying. You're, you're allowing this woman to have this much power over you. Y'all not see this? Stop it. I'm not lying. Hell no, listen, if she see me walking down the street right now, walking into Domino's, <laughs> yeah, all right. Listen, I couldn't do nothing to get her attention, you know what I mean? So Yeah, because you don't have game, DJ Wackademics. You don't have game, fam. And even with money, you still got done dirty. Money couldn't save you, fam. Money couldn't even save you. And I'm not saying that to be mean. I'm not saying that to judge DJ Wackademics. I'm just speaking facts. And the facts say <laughs> that he just doesn't love himself. He doesn't see his worth. He doesn't see his value. He doesn't see his value beyond what he can pay for for the woman or beyond the image that he's trying to sell to people and sell to the woman. And that's sad. 
I know women like that, you know what I mean? They, they tell you they want a regular guy, but truth be told, if I don't come presenting like this, change, watch everything. No. Y'all see his low self-esteem. That's low self-esteem. If you feel like you can't come talk to a bitch, sauce her up, let her know who you are. This is who I am. Right? <laughs> this is who I am. Don't have to have the chains. Don't have to have a watch. Don't have to have a car. Don't have to be big act. I can show up as Livingston Allen, nigga. Still shooting my shot. Don't give a fuck either way. Whether she says yes or no, that means nothing to me. I just shoot my shot. If it goes in, great. If it doesn't go in, great. It doesn't matter. I'm moving on to the next goal. We shoot on that one. It don't work out. We go to the next goal. We shoot on that one. Don't work out. Hey, man. We still going to continue to shoot. <laughs> right? But this nigga thinks that he has to have on his chains, his jewelry. He's got to pull up in a nice car. And you'll still get rejected. Because you don't believe in who you are. And you believe that you got to try to showboat and impress a bitch by what you got. And even if you do not get rejected and you do get the number, because I know you're not going to tell her to put your number in her phone, right? Even if it does work out the way you want it to work out, it probably won't. Because then the woman is going to use you for what you have. Because she knows that you're insecure. She knows that you are building your worth and attach, attaching your identity to the things that you have and the person who you think you are but she even knows that that's not who you are that's a facade the fact that you can't even be you around a woman that's wild behavior it's a sad story but a lot of niggas are living just like this a lot of niggas that are living to a lot of these niggas are living to impress women And this is what happens when you don't stay true to the game. Chance, you know what I mean? But of course, they won't give you the humble vibes until they get a little bit more in depth with you. And then, you know, it's a highway robbery. It's always like that. Do I look like I'd lie to you? Yes. Uh, Let me tell you this. You know what I realized? It, it, he's traumatized. In my 30 plus years on this earth, <laughs> the prettiest faces has the most lies. Not as oh my God. They're lying to you, fam, because they're not interested in you. They're just trying to extract whatever they can extract from you because they know that you are not that nigga, bro. You're just not. Not saying that you can never be that nigga. You can be that nigga. But first, you got to realize that you are the problem. No. Are you saying I'm pretty? You know, you're a pretty woman. You. you know what I mean? I, I... Wait, firstly, I'm offended because you're sending a liar. But secondly, you call me pretty. Aww. Y'all keep, y'all hear, she, keep, she keeps saying all. It's like a lost puppy dog that you feel bad for. You know, oh, you do not want a woman to say, oh, around you. You want a woman to say, mm. you know, if a woman keeps, oh, oh, not saying that you can't, you can't be kind to a woman, right? I'm not saying that, but she's looking at him like he is a lost puppy dog right now. Like, oh, you're so cute. I would never give you the pussy. <laughs> like, like you're a beautiful girl, Thank you. but behind the beauty it's a facade. No, just because behind you is a facade, just because you're showing up with a facade. And that's another thing. Now you see him projecting his own insecurities onto the woman. Do you see this? And it's so funny because some of the, in my experience, some of the baddest women have been some of the most dopest down to earth type of women. Right? Right? But those same type of women will eat your ass up if they see weakness. They will eat your ass up when you don't believe in yourself. When you have low self-esteem, them same women will tear your ass up. You will think that they were the devil himself. But it's only reflecting back things that you need to address. You need to address those demons in your closet. Why you feel so bad about yourself. Why you don't feel good enough. Why you don't feel worthy. Why you don't feel deserving. That bad bitch. 
First of all, you're trying to get validation from that bad bitch. If I got a bad bitch on my arm and she validates me, man, I'm going to feel so good about myself. Stop attaching your identity and who you are by whether or not a bad bitch fucks with you or not. Do you fuck with you? Do you even fuck with you? That's what you need to focus on. That's what you need to give a fuck about. Give a fuck if a bad bitch fuck with me or not. Okay, cool. She does, she does. She don't, she don't. I don't give a fuck either way. I fuck with me, bruh. And I value myself so much that I know if you fuck with me, then you in there. <laughs> you in there. So, it's just a totally different mindset. This nigga's self-esteem is in shambles. That's where all the lies land. That's where all the manipulation is. Because that's the shit that, you, for men... We only see that. We don't really get beyond the surface. He was bullied in school, and he's definitely taking revenge out on women. See? Y'all hear what she said? Let's back that up. We don't really get beyond the surface. He was bullied in school, and he's definitely taking revenge out on women. He was bullied in school. And that's what women really think about you. They think that you have stuffed in a locker syndrome. Like Myron Gaines, like Fresh and Fit. Stuffed in a locker syndrome. And now you're jaded towards women because you don't have game. That's the main thing about it, bro. Once you learn game, you will understand. You'll understand yourself. You'll understand your worth. You'll be able to express, express yourself. 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 Not anybody else. You'll, you'll be able to understand who you are and then you'll be able to express that to the woman. Right? But you can't do that without game, bro. <laughs> you can't do it without game, fam. See? Told y'all. Yeah. You're not giving, like, you're not walking out there and seeing a guy who's maybe can't even pay his cell phone bill. You're not trying to give that guy a chance. I bet. Bro. No, but I, but yeah, but and he'll probably, she'll probably fuck him before she fuck a nigga like you, a high value man. Because a woman is not looking for what you can do for her if you know how to touch her emotions. Women are emotional. How many times do I got to say it? If you can tap into our emotions, bruh, you're tapping, in, tapping into a layer, a layer that is much deeper than any fancy car could get her to feel, right? Of course, you're going to feel, you know, good in a fancy car. She's going to feel, you know, like a bad bitch if you take her out to a fancy dinner. But she's never going to feel like, damn, this dude right here, like, he's that nigga. He's the one for me. Even though I probably know that I can't get him to commit. But he just seems like the one for me. I'm going to break this up in parts. So make sure that you have your post notifications turned on. At the end of the day, it boils down to how you feel about yourself. You know, if you feel like you're not worthy and you feel like you're not deserving of a woman, unless you have these chains and you have this lifestyle and you have this facade, this fake reality. Guess what? The women, the woman is going to agree with you. If you feel like you don't need the jewelry, you don't need the car, you don't need none of that shit, and you can just approach her and, and sauce her up and shit like that, and you can do all of that with your mouthpiece, a woman is going to see that too. Now, like I said, just because you have game does not mean that every woman, you're going to get every woman. Every First of all, you ain't got time for every woman. Second of all, sometimes you just don't vibe with certain people. Sometimes you're just not compatible with certain people, and that's okay. That's fine, right? But when you do have game, you are able to be your authentic self. You're able to express that and share that with the woman. And if she is feeling you, then you will have your way with her. Point blank, period. And once again, you do not want to fuck with a woman who doesn't want to fuck with you or only wants to fuck with you because of what you have and what you can do for her. Stop trying to impress women who don't really fuck with you for you. And stop leading with your wallet and leading with your lifestyle, leading with your followers. And then getting upset when you get used for the very same things that you put in front of her. That's crazy to me. All right? Look, man. Make sure that y'all go cop the merch. True to the Game merch is out. You will see the link to it in the description down below. Stop simping is on the back. And make sure if you do want my help directly, 
that you go ahead and click the link in my description down below to book a one-on-one -on -one call with me so we can get you right and I can break down your specific situation give give you some advice on it and other than that man look if you are a pimp and not a simp like this video comment your thoughts down below hit the subscribe button select all notifications so you do not miss an upload where I'm getting you closer to being a pimp less of a simp I will see you in the next one and last but not least about this thing stay true to the game